Come on, Mr. Bartle. What's the matter today, Christian? <clears throat> we have a dead man. His name was Dorian Smith. He was stabbed in the study. You have to have a talk with his wife. You found him. Okay, let's go. Yes. Mrs. Gertrude Smith, when did you see your husband alive for the last time? That was yesterday evening during dinner. But then I went to bed and he continued working at his computer. Mr. Bartle, I... Don't interrupt me, guy! <clears throat> but we found the knife the murderer used to kill Mr. Smith. It was missing in the Smith knife glove. We found it in the bin. Okay, um, take it with you and go away and search for more yes. things. Um, and you didn't hear any fight or other sounds? No, I didn't. I first found him an hour ago. I wondered when I noticed that he hadn't been in bed tonight. I thought that he maybe fell asleep during work, so I made breakfast for him, and then I found him. Okay, um, and what about other family members? Are there any? Uh, I think son is in his room upstairs. Very helpful. But it's important, isn't it? Of course it is, but everyone knows it since here she came into the house and had a look at the lock, stupid. What do we know about the son? <coughs> his name is Eric Smith, and he's the son of Dorian Smith and his first wife, Ellen. But Ellen Smith died in fact of alcohol. Okay, let's go. Good morning, Eric. My name is Malcolm Bartel and this is Sergeant Colet and I want you to ask some questions downstairs. Why Mr. Colet here investigates your room? Why my room? Um, because we have already investigated all other rooms and yours is the last one now. Okay. Inscription. It was hidden in Eric's cupboard, and I think it's suspicious. Okay, take it with you, and um, we'll have a look at it later on in the police station. Okay. Eric, do you know what is shoot on the video? No, I really didn't know about any tapes. Of course you didn't. But, do you like your new mother? No, I hate her, like I hate my dad. Why? It's their fault that my mother died, because he cheated on her with Gloria, and then she left him, started drinking, and died, and I had to go back to my father. Um, but you know that you make you very suspicious with that what you say in the tape and... Of course I know. I had a reason, because I hated him, and I also had the chance, because I'm living in the same house. But he didn't do it. I was away. I was on a party with a friend at 2 a.m. Okay, um, who is the friend? Jason Weaver. We have to check it, you know it all. Okay, um, yes, um, I think that's all. You can go now. But maybe I have to ask you more questions later. Goodbye. <coughs> what do you want here? The neighbor, Mr. Charleston, was at the house when it was in exorcism. Um, I have to ask some questions to him. Come! Yes, sir. Faster! Yes, sir. No. 
Yes. Oh, good morning, Inspector. What's up? Hello, Mr. Charleston. Um, I have to ask you some questions. Um, where have you been last night? I slept till 8 a.m. Okay, and um, did you hear any strange sounds or something else? No, I didn't. If I had, I would have told you. Okay, and um, that's all for this time. Um, we have to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait. The boy is the only one who had reasons to kill Smith. Yes, and here's no alibi. Jason Weaver's ill. He hadn't been at any party. Why did he tell us lies? I think we have to talk to him again. Give me the tape. <laughs> oh. I think we saw enough. That story and Smith with a woman, we don't know, naked in the bed. Yes, and this is one of the top ten reasons for revenge. But who is the woman? I don't know. I think I saw it before. Maybe today in the morning. She's the wife of Peter Charleston. Okay, we have to go back to the Smith. Let's go. No, Mr. Charleston. Your colleagues finished their scanning the house. I know. Mrs. Edwin Smith, did you know that your husband cheated on you? What? No, I didn't, of course. With your wife, Mr. Charles. What? Bye. Eric? Yes? I know you better than any party. And I think you made the video tape when you saw your father was cheating against children. No. Yes, I wasn't at the party. I met Lucia, my new girlfriend. My father didn't allow me going out with her, so I told him I would go to the party. I don't believe you're in work. You were arrested. Come on, I have to tell you about it. 